praise the Lord hallelujah and we bless the name of the Lord how is everyone doing on this marvelous Friday amen hallelujah hallelujah God is good on today on this evening I just want to come this is elder Deborah Morrison with wise choice ministries amen and um, tonight is our Friday night engage service amen and um, before we go any further I just want to you know just you know have everybody come on in um, um, if you could share you can share you can invite friends in um, I'm actually um, pulling it up on the Facebook because I want to be able to see the comments of the people on this fabulous Friday. Hallelujah. I pray that you all had an awesome day today. Um, amen. God is good and his mercy endureth forever. And so we just bless the name of the Lord. I just want you to come on in. I want you to invite some friends in if you can. Um, if you're able to, you know, tell them, come on on the line. Amen. We're getting ready to have what we call Friday Night Engage at Wise Choice Ministry. And let me explain the engage part. I want you to engage, you know, put your comments there on uh, Facebook. And I'm going to be looking at the comments. I want you to be engaged in what we're talking about. I see a few people. Hello, Mother Kitty Wise. Hello, Deacon Ron Wise. Um... Uh, uh, good evening, uh, Pastor Shana. Um, good evening, Evangelist Sophia, Jeffrey. And we bless God. Again, I said this is Elder Deborah um, from Wise Choice Ministry, where my leader is um, Pastor Shana Wise and Deacon Ron Wise. Amen. And I give God the glory and the praise for what he's doing now in this season, in this time of our life. Amen. And so before we get started, we just want to go ahead and pray. Amen. I had some music playing. Not sure if you can hear it or not, uh, but I think I'm going to turn it down. Um, amen. So we can get on with what we're getting on with. Amen. And so we bless God. Um, so before we begin, um, you, you know, uh, Father, we bless you. We give you glory on tonight, Father. We thank you um, for your awesomeness, God. We thank you you, that we, your people, that you have kept us thus far, God. We thank you, Father God, for all that you're doing, all that you shall do. And Father, we praise you for what you already have done, that even in the midst of whatever, we can always reflect on what you already done for your people. So we give you glory. We give you praise, God. Uh, we say, Holy Ghost, have the right of way in our life and in our affairs, God. We choose you, God. We choose you, God, and what it is that you want to do in your people in the earth now, at this time and at this season. And so we give you the right of way, Holy Ghost, that you would have your way, God, on tonight. In me, God, your yielded vessel, God. I want to say what you want me to say, God. Hallelujah, God. God, may your word go forth, God, and it reach the people that you needed to reach father god i pray god that people will be encouraged on tonight that people will be renewed on tonight and that people would be strengthened on tonight god those god that 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 found themselves outside of your will that they will come back into your will father god that they would come back into alignment with you and your purpose god we thank you for keeping us we thank you for saving us god and we thank you father god for filling us with the Holy Ghost, God. Hallelujah. The power that rides, resides on the inside of us, God. We thank you, God. And for anybody who's listening, God, or will listen, who doesn't have glory to God, the Holy Ghost, you told them, God, all they got to do is seek you for it, Father God, and you would fill them, God. I pray that you would fill us to overflow. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So while I have some people on the line, um, how I, I want to know that you can communicating that you're here with me so I'm gonna need some hearts and some and some hearts and some thumbs up and and, and 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 some happy faces glory to God let me know that you're there with me hallelujah and I bless God amen I see sister Jane Williams on the line hallelujah how are you blessings to you amen so tonight um, the Lord has given me the topic giving birth to purpose and we will be coming from Luke the first chapter the 26th through the 38th verse. And so 
If anybody want to get their Bible, I'm going to give you uh, some time to go ahead and get your Bibles, and, and you can read along with me. Hallelujah. And we're going to hear what it is that the Lord is going to say on this evening. It's amazing that um, God will give you a word, and um, from the point that he gives you that word and you work on that word, right, you research and you study on that word, right, it's like every song you hear, every message you hear, every scripture you hear goes back to the word that he's given you. And so I bless God for confirmation, confirmation to his word, glory to God. And so we give God the glory and we give him the praise. Amen. So if you have your Bibles, we're coming from Luke, uh, the first chapter. The tw we're going to start at the 26th verse, and we're going to go through the 38th verse. I'm going to read it all at once, and then as I go forth with the word, we're going to break down or, or look at certain verses in the word. Amen? And we bless God. Thank you, uh, uh, Rodney Wilson, for joining us. We bless God for you. And so Luke, the first chapter, the 26th through the 38th verse reads, and in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel, Gabriel was sent from God unto a city in Galilee named Nazareth to a virgin espoused to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin name was Mary. And the angel came in unto her and said, Hail, thou art highly favored, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. And when she saw him, she was troubled at his saying and cast in her mind what manner of salutation this should be. And the angel said unto her, Fear not, Mary, for thou hast found favor with God. And behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb and bring forth a son and shalt call his name Jesus. He shall be great and he shall be called the son of the highest. And the Lord shall give unto him the throne of his father David, and he shall reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there shall be no end. Then said Mary unto the angel, How shall this be, seeing I know not a man? And the angel answered and said unto her, The Holy Ghost shall come upon thee, and the power of the highest shall overshadow thee. Therefore also that holy thing which shall be born of thee shall be called the Son of God. And behold, thy cousin Elizabeth, she has also conceived a son in her old age. And this is the sixth month with her, who was called barren. For with God nothing shall be impossible. And Mary said, Behold, thy handmaid of the Lord, be it unto me according to thy word. And the angel departed from her. I like to add right there, the angel departed from her. The angel's assignment was over. I bless God. Amen. Again, Luke, the first chapter to 26 to the 38th verse. Amen. And if you could just, I want to say, just roll with me on tonight as we engage. Glory to God. This passage of scripture um, speaks volumes to me when I was reading it. And because it, it's concerning uh, purpose is concerning purpose for the people of God. And we know purpose is defined as the thing for which something is done or created or which something exists. So in other words, you and I were created to solve a problem in the earth. Amen. Which brings glory to God. Hallelujah. When we walk and work in purpose, it brings glory and honor to the Father who's the originator of our purpose. Amen. Hallelujah. As believers, glory to God, we, we, when we speak of purpose, we have to begin with the Father. Hallelujah. Because our purpose starts in the Father. Amen. So uh, 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 Ephesians, um, it says, in the first chapter of Ephesians, verse 4 through 6, it said, According as he has chosen us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love, uh, having predestined us unto the adoption of children by Jesus Christ to himself, according to the good pleasure of his will. We're talking about God's will. 
to the praise, to the glory of his grace, wherein he has made us accepted in the beloved. So we've already been accepted, glory to God. And once we've been accepted, we have a purpose, glory to God. And our purpose is tied to Jesus Christ, glory to God. So in that scripture, it said the us includes both the Jews and the Gentiles in the church in Ephesus. That includes us, glory to God. We were once a people on the outside, but now we're on the inside. We've been engrafted in the inside, glory to God. We've been hired to fulfill, glory to God, a purpose. We've been hired to fulfill an assignment, glory to God. And I just want to look at this here, hallelujah, and because I believe there's significance in, in this story here about our purpose. So we're chosen by God and we're chosen to do something in the earth called purpose. And we can also call it destiny. Glory to God. Thank you, uh, Rodney Wilson, your destiny. Amen. Because Jeremiah 1 and 5 says, before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. So he already knew you. He already knew me. Glory to God. He knew what he made us for. The Bible says, and before thy cometh forth out of the womb, I sanctify thee, and I ordain thee a prophet unto, unto the nations. So he's already called us because he knew us in our mother's womb. Glory to God. So there's an assignment attached to us. Glory to God. And this assignment didn't come, at, come after we came out. Glory to God. And he saw the product. He already knew what he ordained us to do in our our mother's womb when he fashioned us in the womb glory to God he fashioned us with purpose glory to God hallelujah I can imagine that as he was making his people he began to say this one's going to do this and this one is going to do that glory to God because we he already knew us glory to God I bless God hallelujah so we know that when God um began to create in the beginning of time and he began to call those things glory to god he stepped out on nothing and 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 he began to speak into existence and 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 his words glory to god began to form what he spoke began to form it began to manifest glory to god in the earth and and so is us that's why we have to um get together with what God is calling us to do, glory to God, because he's called us according to his goodwill and his pleasure, glory to God. He chose us to do greater works. We're chosen to birth purpose in the earth, glory to God. And so I believe that this passage of the scripture gives us insight into giving birth to purpose. When I speak of purpose, I'm talking about God's ordained purpose and not our plans, <laughs> not our vision, and not our Ishmael. I'm talking about God's purpose and God's plans for our life, that sometimes it may take some time, hallelujah, for it to manifest, but we got to wait on the promise. We got to wait on what God has called us for, glory to God, at that uh, appointed time. Glory to God. And so when we talk about the plans and the purpose of God, the Bible tells us that the plans of the Lord stand forever. Glory to God. Forever. Hallelujah. So verse 26, it says, in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God unto a city of Galilee named Nazareth to a virgin espoused to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. And the virgin name was Mary. Hallelujah. Mm. The virgin's name was Mary. Okay. The angel, who was just a messenger of God, appeared to Mary, and the text tells us some key stuff here. She was a virgin uh, espoused to a man whose name was Joseph. Now, I want to look at this, like this word espoused, or, or, or another word for it is betrothed, a little closer. Because in the Jewish custom, in the Jewish wedding, there was three stages of a Jewish wedding. The first part was the engagement. That was a formal agreement made by the fathers, okay? Uh, his father and her father. And the betrothal, uh, I think I'm pronouncing that right, the betrothal, it was the ceremony where mutual promises was made. And then the marriage came approximately a year after the fact, glory to God. It came a year after the promise was made. 
And, and so about one year later, the bridegroom would come for his bride, but he would come at an unexpected time. So in other words, she didn't know when he was coming. Her job was to be ready and to be prepared. And that brought that to me. Just I'm just telling you, that's what it says about the believers that we are a prepared people. Hallelujah. That it said, don't let him catch you with your work undone. We got to be ready and prepared when Jesus returns. Glory to God. And so when we look at that, that a couple that that are a spouse together, they were under uh, the obligation of faithfulness. Hallelujah. And a divorce was required to break the betrothal. This was not a casual promise according to the custom of their day, glory to God. To enter this type of promise, the woman had to be a virgin. She had to be unspotted. Hallelujah. That she couldn't have been touched, glory to God. This would have counted out the contract of marriage. But based on this, you would say that Mary was engaged to Joseph, who was the carpenter, glory to God. So her, her future was looking promising, glory to God. You might even say that Mary had it going on, glory to God. She had a man with a J-O-B, glory to God. Hallelujah, because he was a carpenter. And so if he was a carpenter, that meant he can build some things. That meant how house would have been looking good glory to God and then she would have had some children glory to God because that was her wifely duty hallelujah so they would have raised some children she would have kept house glory to God she would have cooked meals hallelujah she might have got together with some other married women and they might have formed a relationship I don't know I'm just saying what they might have done in other words she had it going on but God interrupted her plans. God came and interrupted her plans, glory to God, with purpose. God Almighty. He interrupted what they thought was going to be the custom, what they thought their life was going to be, what they thought that they were going to do. God came and interrupted the plans, glory to God. So number one, I, gonna, I got seven, I believe, takeaways from this. Number one, in order to give birth to purpose, we will have to give up our plans. Hallelujah. God, hallelujah. Can I get somebody to just hashtag that, that we got to give up our plans. Hallelujah. In order to give birth to purpose, we will have to give up our plans. Hallelujah. So the angel said unto Mary, that thou art highly favored, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. But when she saw him, she was troubled at this saying and considered, what, what, what manner of this? I guess she might have said, if I had to bring it to 21st century, what are you talking about? <laughs> what is he talking about? Hallelujah. He said, thou art highly favored. Glory to God. And it said that she, 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 she was troubled at what the angel was saying. The angel said three things to Mary. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And each of these are certainly true of Mary, but it's also a unique privilege among people who believe. Glory to God. It's, it's important to people who believe, the believer. She was highly favored. The Lord was with her and she was blessed. Glory to God. This is what the angel said to her. All he spoke to Mary was true. And it's also true for us, the believer. We are highly favored, just like Mary was. Glory to God. Ephesians 1 and 6, oh, praise the, oh, the praise of the glory of his grace, wherein he has made us accepted in the beloved. He told her, the Lord is with us, teaching them to observe all things that whatsoever I command you, and lo, I'm with you always, even unto the end of the world. Glory to God. And when we say we are blessed, blessed uh, to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who have blessed us with spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ. Hallelujah. So we're blessed. We're highly favored, glory to God. And we're chosen. Uh, point number two, in order to give birth to purpose, never lose sight of whose you are. We are not alone and we are blessed with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly realms in Christ Jesus. I think I need to say that again. In order to birth purpose, never lose sight of whose you are. 
We are not alone and we are blessed with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly realms in Christ Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And so Mary was troubled at the angel saying. The fact that she was troubled at the saying shows her humility. She was troubled, but she didn't get indignant about it. Like, what you talking about? Who are you talking to? She, she, she listened. Glory to God. She was, Mary was surprised to hear, um, you know, such, um, you know, extravagant words being said to her. Glory to God. And what the angel called her and what he saw, that she was blessed, that she was highly favored. Glory to God. It reminds me of Gideon. Glory to God. He was called a mighty man of valor, but he didn't see himself that way. He saw himself as the least, glory to God. The Bible says in Isaiah, glory to God, 55, 8 through 9, it says, and this is what we need to rest uh, um, um, our belief on, that even though we might not see it, the Bible says, for my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are my ways your ways, says the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways and my thoughts then your thoughts, glory to God. We have to get that in our mind because that's where the enemy comes in because he doesn't want us to believe that we can walk in purpose and do the things that God has called us to do, glory to God. Mm. So then the angel said to Mary, fear not, Mary, for thou hast found favor with God and behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb, glory to God, and bring forth a son and shall call his name Jesus he shall be great and he shall be called the son of the highest and the Lord God shall give unto him the throne of his father David and he shall reign over the house of Jacob forever and the king and of his kingdom there shall be no end you have found favor with God you will conceive in your womb and bring forth a son this is what the angel of the Lord said to her and this is what I took away from this, and we can too. The focus was not on Mary, but on, on the son. The focus was not on Mary, but on the assignment. <laughs> the focus was not on Mary, but on purpose, glory to God. The angel began to speak to her about the assignment and about the purpose, glory to God. Mary knew exactly, glory to God, what he was talking about, because she was a woman of the word. And you got to know during this time, although there was not necessarily a prophet in this time, because from the, from the Old Testament to the New, there was about a 400-year span where, 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 there, where, where no one was speaking the word of God. But I am sure, according to the word of God, they were teaching the word of God to their children, the parents, glory to God. So Mary knew the word. Mary knew that according to Isaiah 7 and 14, that a virgin, glory to God, was going to conceive and bear a son. Hallelujah. She knew this, she heard all about it, but what she didn't know, that she was the virgin. She was the chosen one, glory to God. She was chosen by God to birth purpose in the earth. Uh, the angel provided the details and the end results of her assignment, glory to God. I bless God. What is he speaking to you about your assignment? Has God spoken to you about what he's called you to do in the earth, glory to God? Hallelujah. Have you gotten the details? Have you gotten in the instructions, glory to God, about what your assignment in this earth is to do? Hallelujah. We got to focus on the assignment, glory to God. The angel just provided the details of the assignment and the end results, glory to God. And I, I want to pause here because sometimes, my God, mm, 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 mm. sometimes, We'll get a word spoken to us, right? And we'll run on the first word that we heard. We'll hear that God has called you to be a mouthpiece for the Lord. Hallelujah. And based on that, we'll take off running. Good God Almighty. We'll go print some business cards. We'll buy some clergy attire. And we'll rent a building, glory to God, because we've been called. Hallelujah. But we never get the full instructions. Hallelujah. We don't get the details of our assignment. Hallelujah. You got to get the detail of the assignment. 
Because with instructions come preparation. Good God Almighty. And with preparation comes process. I got to say that again. Glory to God. With instructions come preparation. And with preparations come process. Glory to God. Mm, my God. In the natural, now I know I'm talking to some women here, and I know some brothers can understand too. In the natural, you don't get pregnant today and deliver a full-term baby tomorrow. There's a process. And we sometimes like to bypass the process. Glory to God. So number three, in order to birth purpose, we must wait on complete details of the assignment and go through the birthing process. I'm going to say that again. Hallelujah. In order to birth purpose, we must wait on the complete details of the assignment and go through the birthing process. Amen. Hallelujah. There used to be an old television show. Now, I might be telling my age, but glory to God. And the show, it was a television drama called Mission Impossible. And it was a team of, 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 of government spies. And they would receive instructions delivered to them from a recording. And, and, and the recording would explain the situation and, it be, and, and, and tells them the detail of what the assignment was. But at the end of the message, it would say, your mission, your assignment, should you decide to accept it. So you got a choice. You got a choice to walk in purpose or not. You got a choice. Hallelujah. So we're still talking about giving birth to purpose. And we know that all things are possible with God. But we must accept the assignment. Hallelujah. Then Mary said unto the angel, I see, I see y'all, I see y'all, y'all talking about the birthing pain, oh, glory to God, y'all talking about birthing process, labor pains, my God, the assignment of destiny, amen. And so the, the next scripture I want to look at, then Mary said unto the angel, how shall this be seen I know not a man? Notice Mary never said no. <clears throat> she did not say you got the wrong Mary. <laughs> She didn't say, I ain't never heard of nothing like this before. <laughs> no, she wanted to know, how is this going to happen? Seeing I am a virgin and I have not known a man in this manner. Hallelujah. So in order to birth purpose, we must lay aside our personal inexperience and be comfortable doing things we never done before. Oh God, I think somebody need to hashtag that one. We must lay aside our personal inexperience and be comfortable doing things we've never done before. She just said, I'm a virgin. H how's this gonna happen? I've never known a man in this manner before. Mm -hmm. She heard what he said. She said, but I've never known a man like this, okay? What she was speaking about was her inexperience. What she was talking about, I haven't had no relations, glory to God. I don't know how this is supposed to look, glory to God. But when you line up with the purposes of God for your life, all you got to do is submit and surrender. That's all the Father requires, amen? So now the Holy Ghost, show, the, the angel begins to talk to her after she asks a question, well, how, how is this going to happen? The Holy Ghost shall come upon thee, and the power of the highest shall overshadow thee. Therefore also that holy thing which shall be born of thee shall be called the Son of God. Gabriel answered, the power of the highest will overshadow you in the person of the Holy Ghost, of the Holy Ghost or the Holy Spirit, glory to God. The word overshadow means to cover, glory to God, with a cloud or as a cloud, like the cloud of the Shekinah glory, glory to God. So he began to tell her that the Holy Ghost was going to come upon you. The Holy Ghost was going to deal with you, glory to God. Hallelujah, glory to God. He was letting her know the prerequisite for her to become pregnant with purpose was the Holy Ghost going to have to over 
overshadow you. The Holy Ghost is going to have to take over. Glory to God. The Holy Ghost is going to have to lead. Glory to God. In order for this to be done, we can't have no flesh involved. Glory to God. In order for this to be done, the flesh got to take a back seat. In order for this to be done, the Holy Ghost is going to overshadow you. Glory to God. So the angel let her know this was an inside job. <laughs> Hallelujah. Because you're chosen. Mm, mm, mm. Be a ben, you've been chosen with a call. You've been a chosen with an assignment on your life. The Lord is saying, I want to use you for my purpose and for my glory. Hallelujah. I always say this. I heard someone say this one time. It said the ability is in the call. If God called you to it, you have the ability already in you. Hallelujah. I got to take a slip on that one, Jesus. Mm, 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 mm. The ability is in the call. If God called you to it, you have the ability in you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. It's an inside job. Hallelujah. Somebody need to hashtag that inside job. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So number five, in order to give birth to purpose, we must be willing, obedient, and submit to the authority and the power of the Holy Ghost. Glory to God. We got to, out of our mouth, we got to say, not my will, God, but your will be done. Not my way, God, but your way be, good, be done, Father. Hallelujah. And Mary said to, to the angel, glory to God. Now, all of this is a conversation going on. But all I see in this is, is the, the, the blueprint uh, for purpose, for walking in the purposes of God, is the blueprint for giving birth to purpose. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I bless God. So Mary said, behold, I am the servant of the Lord. Let it be to me according to your word. Mary's response was a declaration of her faith and commitment to back up what she believed. She believed that the angel was a messenger of God. She believed that the angel came with, a, with, with the purposes of God for her life, and she came in agreement with the angel. She came in an agreement with the word of God. She said, let it be according to your word. Hallelujah is a proper response of every believer to every promise and calling of God in your life. Oh, glory to God. Mary made a bold statement, glory to God. Even before the song was ever written, Mary made a statement, and the statement said this, Lord, whatever you're doing in this season, don't do it without me. Hallelujah. Whatever you're doing in this season, Father, don't do it without me. Hallelujah. That needs to be our statement, that Lord, whatever you're doing in this season, don't do it without me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In order, number six, I told you I was going to give you about seven of them. I'm on number six. I, I stopped counting. I got excited. Number six, hallelujah. In order to give birth to purpose, we must respond and operate in what I call now faith. Glory to God. Now faith. We have to operate in it. We got to respond in now faith because the Bible says now faith is a substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. I'm walking in faith. If God called me to it, I know I can do it with the help of the Holy Ghost. If God says this is what he wants me to do, hallelujah, by the help and the grace of God and the help of the Holy Ghost, I'm going to do what God's going to say. I'm walking in my now now. I'm walking in now faith. Glory to God. I'm going to walk this purpose out in now faith because I got all of heaven backing me up. Glory to God. Why? Because I'm highly favored. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory. I've been called and I'm chosen to do a work in the earth. Now faith. Hallelujah. And we got to understand that, that back in this time uh, for Mary to believe the angel and to come aboard on with God's plan, right? It had to be more than trust in the Lord for her to walk this thing out. She, Mary agreed to become pregnant, to receive a pregnancy 
that in her culture and in her time would be seen as suspicious. <laughs> she was in a culture that believed in the death penalty for adultery. Hallelujah. Could you imagine her explaining, yeah, I'm pregnant by the Holy Ghost. Yes, and I'm, I, I'm in, engaged to Joseph, and we get married soon, and this baby not his baby, but I'm, I'm pregnant by the Holy Ghost. They would have thought she was crazy. They would have probably stoned her. But I like how God works things out in our life. Glory to God. When, when we come aboard God's purpose and plan, he works out everything. Glory to God. Down to the last detail, he works it out. But Mary chose to submit to the will of God for her life. She chose to submit to what the messenger of God was saying to her. Hallelujah. The Bible says, but we have this treasure in earthen vessels, but the excellency of the power may be of God and not us. I don't know why we think it's about us. It's not about us. Glory to God. It's about the God in us. Glory to God. And what God wants to do through us. Glory to God. We have to submit to the profit process. We have to submit to the purpose and the calling of God. Amen. Number seven. Hallelujah. I see your comments. Lord have mercy. Uh, you go ahead, Rodney Wilson. That's my favorite song. Mary, did you know? She didn't know. She didn't know. Glory to God. I bless God. Y'all keep the comments coming. The blueprint to walk in purpose. Evangelist Sophia. Aha. Uh -huh. Submit to the Holy Ghost. Amen. Because that's what we have to do. We have to submit to the Holy Ghost. An inside job. Amen. The abilities and the glory. Amen. Hallelujah. Keep those comments in the hearts and the, and, the, and, the, and the thumbs up. I like the thumbs up in the hearts too. But anyhow, number seven. In order... To give birth, we must submit to the assignment so that the purposes of God will must so the purpose of God will be fulfilled in our life. Amen. Just like Mary's conception was without help or a seed of a man, <laughs> so is what God wants to do in you. So is what God wants to do in us. What God wants to do in us has to be fueled by the Holy Ghost. The equipment is of God and not ourselves. The miracle of the virgin pregnancy and birth involved the yielding, surrendering, and submission of Mary's way of life. Hallelujah. Did you ever thought that Mary could have said at any point in that, no, I'm not doing that. No, nope, I'm going to go on with my life the way I had it planned out. But she submitted. Glory to God. She submitted. Glory to God. So we have to, to, we must submit to the assignment so that the purposes of God will be fulfilled in our lives. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Mm, mm, mm. The Bible talks about, behold, I will do a new thing. Now shall it spring forth, shall we know it? I will even make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We, we can't tell God who to pick and who not to pick. Glory to God. And when to pick them. That's God's choosing. That's God's choice. And if he decides to come another way in our life, then let God be God in our life. Just because Sister uh, Betty over here does it this way, that's what God called her to do. Maybe your assignment, hallelujah, is going to be something different. It's not going to look like Sister Betty's. Hallelujah. Brother Bob, it's going to be what God has designed for you. Sometimes we get so caught up and hook on what, what everybody else is doing and how they're doing it. But what has God called you to do? Glory to God. Hallelujah. Mary could have let her fear lead her. She could have let society dictate to her. Glory to God. Hallelujah. She could have let the opinions of others intimidate her. But she chose to respond in faith to God's will for her life. And we have to respond in faith to God's will for our life. When the angel revealed the plans and purposes of God for her life, Mary listened to all the instructions. When the angel finished, Mary didn't say, I'll think about it. She didn't say, well, let me pray and fast about it. She didn't say, let, let me get back to you. She submitted to God's plan. Hallelujah. And this season, we will not, we will not birth purpose until we submit to the process. Glory to God. We've got a lot of people, 
hallelujah, that want to walk in purpose, but you're not submitted. You're not submitted to God. And so I know that if you're not submitted to God, there's not too many other things you're going to be submitted to either. Hallelujah. Because you can't submit to man and not God. That, that, that's just a whole backwards equation right there. Right there. Hallelujah. So we have to submit to the pro, pro, uh, process. We will not give birth unless we give up our way of doing things and our way of thinking. Glory to God. It might not look like what you mapped out in your journal or in your book. Glory to God. Hallelujah. God might want to come another way with you, but it's based on what he's called you to do. Glory to God. What has God called you to do? What's the purpose that God said, this is why I created you. Glory to God. We got to line up to the purpose because there's going to be some people that's going to get, you know, when it's time, hallelujah, when you've done, done all that you could do. Glory to God. That's why the Bible tells us to work while the day night cometh, which no man can work. Glory to God. We're doing this, that, and the other. Glory to God. But is it what God called you to do? Because we're doing all this good work and this great work, but is it what God called you to do? I think about as a parent, as a mother, right, and, and those that have children, right, you tell your son, I'm, I'm just going to say, uh, you know, Michael, go, go take the garbage out, okay? And so Michael goes and... Um, do something else. He mops the floor. You know, he washes the dishes. Mm -hmm. uh, he vacuums the floor. He cleans the bathroom. That's wonderful and great. But that's not what I told him to do. <laughs> All that other stuff is great. You still walking in disobedience. Because I specifically said, take out the garbage. So there are going to be a whole lot of people that was told to do something and decided they wanted to do something different. My God. That's not where I want to be. I want to give birth to purpose. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So many, the Bible said many plans are in a man's mind, but it's the Lord's purpose for him that will stand. I want the purposes of God to stand in my life because I want to do the will of God in my life. So the first step in birth and purpose is first, we got to be pregnant with God's purpose instead of our own purpose. <laughs> We, we got to let God do what God going to do. Hallelujah. We got to be pregnant with God's purpose. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Instead of the purposes of the world or the purposes of our own device, what we want to do, what we think looks good. Did God call you to that? Hallelujah. You may be pregnant. You know, some of us now, I've got to look at the Bible. It says you may be pregnant by the wrong source and give birth to an Ishmael. You may produce the wrong lineage even while you're God's chosen. We saw that with Abraham. Hallelujah. The, you know, the father of, of all nations, Abraham. God spoke a promise over his life and told him that he was going to have a son. Hallelujah. But they got impatient about what God said. Hallelujah. And see, when we get impatient about what God says, we start to make decisions based on our impatience. We begin to make decisions based on our flesh. Glory to God. And God didn't call us to work his program. Glory to God. I bless God. It's, it's, I think about when you're hired on a job, you're hired to do a specific job. You don't come on that job telling them, well, I don't want to do that. I want to do this over here. Because if that's what you're going to say, you're going to find yourself without a job. Why can we do this so good in a man's job, in the natural, but in the spirit, we can't submit ourselves to the process. We cannot submit ourselves to Jesus and what he wants us to do. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We cannot realize our ultimate purpose until we no longer demand or desire to be pregnant with our own purpose. Yeah. We want to do it our way. And then we want God to bless it. <laughs> we want the Jesus stamp as if there was one to stamp what we're doing. But if God didn't call you to it, hallelujah, you just spinning wheels and going nowhere. Hallelujah. And it's going to be detrimental to your spiritual life. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. It's going to be detrimental to your spiritual life. Glory to God. And your spiritual destination. Hallelujah. We were created as a we were, we were created as a purpose to produce purpose. Because Mary was created for purpose. Mary was created to carry and birth the Lord Jesus. Glory to God. That's what she produced. 
by way of the Holy Ghost. And when she birthed Jesus, Jesus came in the earth and Jesus was the purpose. Jesus was the answer in the earth. Hallelujah. So her purpose was to bring forth, to birth what was produced and created by the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. I said it's an inside job. And once the evidence, glory to God, the fruit manifested glory to God. Once it came forth, glory to God, it was produced. It produced purpose in the earth. Glory to God. We're talking about purpose in the earth. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Uh, the world needed a savior. <laughs> and his name was called Jesus. <laughs> I want to say this, hashtag this, let me work my purpose. <laughs> Mary worked her purpose. She didn't work nobody else's purpose. She even went and visited Elizabeth, but she didn't jump and try to do what Elizabeth was doing. She worked the purpose that God assigned to her hand. Let me work my purpose. Hallelujah. Let me work my purpose purpose glory to God and the Bible said and he shall bring and she shall bring forth a son and and thou shall call his name Jesus for he shall save his people from their sins glory to God that was the purpose glory to God that was the purpose of Jesus to come and to save hallelujah the people from their sins glory to God hallelujah and one of the things as I was studying this message hallelujah I saw something in there, and, and I want to share this with everyone. Those that, that, are, that, that want to work their purpose said, let me work my purpose. Those that want to work in walking the purpose and the plans of Jesus, right? In this season of the ninth month, right, uh, my purpose shall come forth. Your purpose shall come forth. Glory to God. Uh, 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 it's nine months to deliver a baby, right? And this blew my mind. As a country, we have been on lockdown since around, I want to say, the month of March. That's when we really went on lockdown, in the month of March, as a country. All right? We went in March. We just went down, shut down. We've been, if you want to call it hibernation, we've been quarantined. You know, uh, we've been restricted, can't do what we normally do, you know. And so um, if you count from March... Since we've been locked down, right, to December, which we're in December now, and December is, is the 12th month, but if you count from March to December, that's nine months. <laughs> that, that's nine, that totals nine months. And that said to me, it's time to produce purpose. It is time for God's people to walk in the purposes of God. Hallelujah. The ninth month, it's a month to produce purpose. Hallelujah. Mary shows us in this passage of scripture how to submit and welcome the overshadowing of the Holy Ghost in our lives in order to birth purpose. Nine months it takes to have a baby. Hmm. Anybody got any thoughts on that? Nine months. Hallelujah. So we're in the month of birthing. We're in the month to produce. Hallelujah. And I'm laughing at this because we said, the scripture said, he said, behold, I'll do a new thing. Good God Almighty. This is the new thing. We're in the ninth month from March and it's time for us to push. It is time for us to give birth. It is time for us to, to do it God's way. Amen. We, in order, uh, we must submit, we must surrender our, all of our personal purposes to position ourselves for God's process. Yes. We must submit and commit to God's will and way. Hallelujah. It's only then can you become pregnant with purpose and birth purpose when you submit to God. Amen. Amen. The purpose shall come forth. Hallelujah. Your purpose shall come forth. My purpose shall come forth. Hallelujah. The Holy Ghost has activated the seed in you. Hallelujah. Whether you are a man or a woman, the Holy Ghost 
has activated the seed in you. It's time to give birth. Glory to God. We're getting ready to go into a whole new year. We're getting ready to go into 2021. Hallelujah. But my God, we going into 2021. Hallelujah. Pregnant with purpose that we're giving birth now. We're going to produce what the Holy Ghost wants us to produce. Glory to God. Hallelujah. There's some of us that have placed ourselves on the back burner. Nobody put us there. We put ourselves there. We let fear, we let intimidation, we just let, you know, all kinds of things stop us from giving to doing what God has called us to do. Well, tonight I want you to get off of your, uh, get off the back burner. Hallelujah. I want you to get out off of your seat of do nothing. Glory to God. And I want you to submit and surrender to the will of God for your life. Hallelujah, for your for the purpose that he's called you for. Now, people say, oh, I don't know what my purpose is. I, you know, I don't, I don't know, and da 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 Well, you live the best Holy Ghost-filled life that you can live. You live blameless. You live spotless before the Lord your God. You begin to fast. You begin to pray glory to God. You begin to study and read your word. Uh, hallelujah, you call your own shed-in glory to God. And you have a shed-in with just you and Jesus glory to God. And let me tell you, you, you gonna get a word from the Lord about what it is that he needs you to do. Glory to God. You got to posture yourself, glory to God, to be able to receive. And it's the same thing with a woman in the natural. When, when it's time to give birth, glory to God, she just can't be sitting in the chair with her legs crossed, watching TV, getting her toes done or whatever, getting her nails done, eating a burger. When you're giving birth, you got to assume the position, glory to God. Hallelujah for the child to come forth. And it's the same thing in the spirit we're not submitting ourselves we're not getting in the posture to hear from God some of us are so busy all day we got the radio on we got the TV on we got the iPod on we got the YouTube on we got the Facebook on we got everything going and we don't ever sit down to hear stillness to get the instructions from God about the assignment that's on our life. That's right, Evangelist Sophia. We gotta posture ourselves to receive. Hallelujah, and just as I said that, the Holy Ghost is saying a lot of us are deceived because we won't posture ourselves to receive. Because when you're not receiving from God, anything else you receive that ain't come from God, it's called a counterfeit. Mm -hmm. It's called a counterfeit. Yeah, the Bible says gift and calls are, are without repentance. Yeah. So if God called me to be a singer, that, then I'm going to sing whether I'm doing it right or wrong, whether I'm living right or I'm living wrong, right? Because that's what he called me to do. But if I do it his way, glory to God, there will be an anointing on what he's called me to do. And if I do it his way, Hallelujah, that anointing, hallelujah, is going to begin to touch lives and heart to the point there's change. Not to make you feel good, but change in your life. Glory to God, that you will repent and turn around from what it is that you were doing. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So tonight, I just challenge you to do it God's way. I challenge you to give up every rhyme, reason, or excuse, or whatever, and do it God's way. I hear you, Holy Ghost. There might be us saying, I was glory. Mm. There might be somebody saying, well, I don't have anyone to support me in what it is God called me to do. L let, me, let me just give you what, what I'm hearing. You got the host of heaven back in you. You got the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ready. Hallelujah. To gird up whatever it is God has called you to do. So you, you, and let me tell you something. When you get in position, ha, huh, glory to God. It's like a woman when she's pregnant and she's in the hospital and she's on that gurney scratcher thing there. And she's, she's in the posture, glory to God, to receive the doctor come to her the nurses come to her glory to God hallelujah she don't have to go looking for nobody they come to her so I'm telling you get in the posture 
Glory to God of what God called you to do. Get your instructions for him, glory to God. And whatever you need, the Bible says, the Bible says, glory to God. It says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness and everything else would be added. Whatever you need to complete your assignment, God will provide it for you. Hallelujah, glory to God. I bless God. Hallelujah, glory to God. You got to know that what you're carrying is greater than you. <laughs> what you're carrying is greater than your circumstances. Mm. What you're carrying is greater than whatever you had to endure in this life. It's greater than you. Glory to God. There is purpose in you on everyone on this line tonight. There is purpose in you. You were created to be an answer in the earth. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So what problem did God create you to solve in the earth? <laughs> what did he create you to do? Ephesians 2 and 10 says, For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus unto good works, which God has before ordained that we should walk in them. Hallelujah. There's too many scriptures that tell us that we're to walk in what God has ordained. Hallelujah. We got to be willing and obedient to the things of God. Hallelujah. We've got to be obedient. Glory to God. So, um, so we got to, you know, I, I would say this. You got to get a won't he do it in your spirit. You got to get a won't he do it. God, I know you can and I know you will. Glory to God. There's a scripture that says I can do all things through Christ Jesus, which strengthened me. Hallelujah. That scripture is true. Whatever he's called you to do, you can do it because he's already strengthened you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. When we can be assured of the Lord's help and strength to assist in accomplishing what he requires of us, whatever he called you to, He's going to assist you, glory to God. What he's called you to, the provision in the way has already been made. He's waiting on you to walk it out. He's waiting for you to walk in it. Hallelujah. I got to take a sip here. Mm. He's waiting for you to walk it out. He's waiting for you to get up. Mm, mm, mm. He's waiting for you to trust him. He's waiting for you to believe that there's greatness in you. He's waiting for you to believe that you can do it. My God. Mm. Little old you, you can do it. Mm. The person that don't have no education, no formal education, you can do it. Mm -hmm. Because God called you to it. Yes, he did. The least one in your family, mm. you can do it. Because God called you to it. It's time to give birth. Amen. It's time to give birth. Glory to God. The, the scripture in Ephesians 3 and 20 says this. Now unto him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we can ask or think according to the power that works in us. And the power that works in us is the spirit of the living God. The power that works in us is the Holy Ghost. I've already told you it's an inside job. Hallelujah. It's an inside job. Glory to God. Some of us just need to stir up that gift, glory to God, that's on the inside of us. It's time to birth purpose. And these passages of scripture that I've read to you tonight is the blueprint for giving birth to purpose. And my prayer is that 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 you uh, would, 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 would read it and get it down and begin to walk it out, that you would give birth to purpose. And so I'll ask you again, what purpose has God revealed to you concerning your assignment in the earth? You don't have to answer it here, but write that down. What purpose has God revealed to you concerning your assignment in the earth? And number two, have you embraced the assignment? It's great to know what it is, but have you embraced it? Yeah, it's time to give birth to purpose. It's the ninth month, and we are giving birth to purpose. Somebody write that down. It's the ninth month, 
and we are giving, and I am giving birth to purpose. It's the ninth month. Amen. Hallelujah. I bless God for his word on tonight, giving birth to purpose. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm giving um, you time to, to write that. Also, if anybody have a prayer request, amen. If, if you have any prayer requests, amen. Hallelujah. You can um, post that now because I'm going to, um, when, I, when I go to pray, we're going to pray out. Amen. But I bless God for, for the word on tonight. I wish I had some horns or something so I can go, yay, or throw up some confetti or something, you know, because uh, God is good. My God is good. And, and, and this message, you know, it, I, I have to be the first partaker, okay? It spoke volumes to me because this is the ninth month and I'm giving birth. <laughs> I'm giving birth, amen, in the ninth month, amen. So just want to give you a couple of uh, announcements real quick while you're writing Either you're commenting or you're uh, writing your prayer requests down. Um, and once again, I'm Elder Deborah from Wise Choice Ministries. Um, we will be back on the line again. Um, Evangelist Sophia on uh, Sunday morning will be doing uh, her Instagram inspiration. Amen. And that'll be at 9 o'clock on Sunday morning. Amen. And then on Wednesday night, the 23rd, we will be having our interactive Bible study on, on, on our WC, WCM interactive page. Amen. We will be having it uh, that Wednesday instead of that Thursday because that Thursday is Christmas Eve. So we'll be doing it that 23rd. And our Bible series uh, for the month of December is the adversity of Christ's birth. So you want to come back for that. I will be teaching that Bible study lesson on the 23rd. Amen. And so we bless God for that. I'm just giving you the calendar, God, so people can write some stuff down. On the 25th, um, amen, amen. Thank you, uh, Mother Kitty. She said, amen. Good word tonight, Elder. Really enjoyed it. Thank you, uh, uh, Mother Kitty. And uh, Rodney Wilson, thank you. Amen. He said, what an awesome word. Amen. Hallelujah. We, we got to give birth. Amen. Because we see the condition of the world. So we got to get on our job. Amen. Amen. Um, but the other thing that I wanted to tell everybody on December the 31st, amen, hallelujah, we're going to have our New Year's Eve service, amen, and you don't want to miss that service, we're just going to have a good time celebrating, glory to God, hallelujah, that we're crossing over to the new year, we're celebrating Jesus, we're celebrating friendship, we're just celebrating, glory to God, and please, we would encourage you to come on um zoom but you know if, if you want to do facebook we can because we'll be screaming um on facebook we'll be giving out prizes we will be doing um uh i can't can't think of it right now the word we're doing some trivia that's one thing we can win some prizes with trivia uh we'll also be doing um icebreakers um we'll be playing a uh a scavenger hunt as well i want to call it the pandemic scavenger hunt we're going to play that so some good things uh coming so we encourage you to join us on 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 those dates amen you can either go to wise choice ministries page the page that we're on now or wcm interactive for for the announcements amen about what we're doing in this time season you know in this time for this month so i give god the glory amen um banjo sophia says great word tonight elder deborah amen we bless god for what he's doing amen i was trying to wait for some prayer requests amen hallelujah um if not, we're just going to go ahead and close out. I would like to also to say that, I, you know, if anybody um, wanted to accept the Lord Jesus Christ or if anybody backslidden or wants to come back in the fold, amen, glory to God, we'll give you a space and a time to do that, amen, hallelujah, glory to God, because we're about expanding the kingdom of God, amen, and so we bless God and we just thank God. So if there's anybody on the line listening now or coming on the line later, amen, um, you just uh, simply say, Father, um, I want to thank you, God, for all for who you are and what you have done. 
I believe in your, your, your birth, your death, and your resurrection. I ask you to come into my heart, Father. I am sorry for all the sins that I have committed, God, against you and against your word, Father God. Please forgive me, God. I thank you, Father God. Your word tells me to confess and that if I confess my sins, is you're faithful and just to cleanse me from all unrighteousness. So, Father, I thank you and I believe what your word says. Thank you, Father, for saving me. In Jesus' name, amen. And if you said that, amen, I want you to go ahead and, and hit us up in messengers and let us know that, that you accepted the Lord as your personal Savior or let us know that, that you came back because God is married to the backslider, amen? Hallelujah. And most important, tell somebody I'm saved. I made the decision to dedicate my life to the Lord, amen? Hallelujah. Amen. So we're going to go ahead and close out. I thank God for everybody that came on and showed up tonight. I give God the glory. I give God the praise. Amen. Giving birth to purpose. Glory to God. I thank God for Jesus. Amen. So Father, we bless you. We thank you, God. We thank you, Father. I can't say it enough for your awesomeness, God, for who you are in the lives of your people, God. I thank you that you have fashioned us, God, that you have made us, God, and you have called us to your purposes, God, and your plans in the earth, God. God, let us move with swiftness, God, to do what it is that you have called us to do, God. Hallelujah, God. We want to bring glory to your name, God, in the name of Jesus. We want to bring glory and honor to your name, Father God, in the name of Jesus, God, that let us decrease, God, while you increase in us and in our life, Father God. God, we lay aside every plan, every purpose that we had, that we thought that we were going to do. If it does not line up with your will and way for our life, God, we discard it right now in the name of Jesus. God, we come in agreement right now with your will and your way for our life. God, we thank you that the ability is in the call, that we've already been equipped to do what it is that you told us to do or that you want us to do, that you have called us to do, God. I thank you that you're a keeper, God. I thank you, Father God, that you're working it all out for our good, Father God, in the name of Jesus. And so, Father God, we thank you that everything in our life is working for our good, God. We have your guarantee on it. We have it in your word, God, that you say that we know that all things that work together for the good to them, that love God to them that are the called according to your purposes, God. So we come along inside of your purposes, God. Ha, Holy Ghost, have the right of way in our life. Have the right of way in our affairs, God, in the name of Jesus, God. And so we bless you and we thank you, God. We give you all the honor. We give you all the glory, God. We pray for everybody that came on the line tonight, God. Um, those that will see the video later, God. We ask you, Father God, to, to be with them, to comfort them, to strengthen your people, God. Refresh us and revive us, God, even in this season, even right now, Father God, in the name of Jesus, God. We know that all of our help cometh from the Lord, God, and that you are a keeper of your people, God. So we thank you even right now, God. Strengthen the minds and the hearts of your people right now, God, in the name of Jesus, God. We bind the spirit of, of oppression. We bind the spirit of depression in the name of Jesus, God. Oh, God, you are mind regulator, God. I ask you to touch hearts and touch minds in the name of Jesus, God. Those that are sick, God, are not feeling well in their bodies, God, that you would touch them, God, that you would send forth your word of healing right now in the name of Jesus, God, to Touch their bodies, God. Give them strength, God, on the inside, God, in the name of Jesus, God. Those that are living, God, and, and, and have living with uncertainty, God, or, or living amongst a whole bunch of chaos, God, I ask you, Father, to rest upon them and give them peace that passes all understanding. You told us in your word that if we keep our minds stayed on you, you're going to give us that peace, God, that passes all understanding, God. Jehovah Shalom, rest on them right now in the name of Jesus, God. And I thank you, Father God. I thank you, Father God, for all that you're doing in the lives of your people, God.
Hallelujah. When we continue to walk in purpose in this ninth month, God, we're giving birth, God. We're giving birth to what you have called us to do in this season. And we bless God. We bless God for the multiple birth of his children all over the world. Glory to God. I thank you for the birth, God. I thank you for the birth. And I thank you for the new ministries. I thank you for the new things that your people are walking out in the earth, God, to bring you glory. You said in your word if I be lifted up glory to God that I'm going to draw all men unto me so God we get in a hurry with quickness God to do what you called us to do it's in Jesus name I pray amen and amen hallelujah we bless God on tonight you have a wonderful amazing evening hallelujah enjoy your weekend and i love you with the love of jesus christ don't forget this is the ninth month and you're giving birth to purpose in jesus name amen <music>